Well, I'm standing next to a, some people refer to a bargain American supercar. This is a 2023 Corvette Z06 convertible. I found this vehicle in the used car inventory of Volvo Cars of Fort Myers, Florida, and it is for sale. So if you're interested in it, go ahead and check out the link in the description of this video. Give them a call or send them an email. Maybe you can make a deal on this. But today I'm going to take in a complete tour of this vehicle. We're going to start from the front and walk around and talk about the engine. And at the end of this video, you're going to go for a spin with me together. Now, if this is the first time we meet, my name is Matt. And here at Matt the Car Guy, I post two car reviews every single week. If that's something that interests you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And now let's get back to this. Well, the, this generation Corvette was actually introduced in 2020. It's referred to as a C8, which is the eighth generation of a Corvette. And in 2023, the Z06 was added to the lineup. And now we're waiting for the electrified era. So a lot of exciting things about the performance vehicles. Now, this is a performance version of a performance vehicle. If we can even say that the regular Corvette's got about 500 horsepower and can do zero to 60 in about three seconds. This is 5.5. 5 liter V8, naturally aspirated, flat plane crankshaft engine, high revving engine, producing 670 horsepower and is able to propel this vehicle 0 to 60 in about 2.7 seconds. I think it's about 2.8 on the convertible. Well, you know, the bad news is I'm not going to be able to check that because the vehicle has only got 300 miles on it and due to a strict regimen for braking, I'm not going to be beating on this vehicle. Well, I will, however, take it for a test drive at the end of this video. Well, let's take a look at the exterior of this vehicle. I love it. I love looks very similar and very different from the regular C8. I love this red mist tint coat collar on it. This is an extra option on this vehicle. Huge lights. It looks very much like a supercar with the LED lights, with the LED daytime running lights and turn signals. Those huge air intakes both on the side and a little bit more aggressive front end. Now we don't have this carbon package which would add this more aggressive splitter but you have a nice color coordinated splitter here and then when we move to the side I'll show you some other differences but before we do that let's see what's underneath the hood here so no different than the regular C8 you have some storage space right here and you can fit uh, maybe a large carry-on suitcase it's deep enough and in case you get locked up in here you have the emergency uh, lockout button and in case you locked up and don't want to get out you can actually charge your phone from here because it does have the 12 volt power adapter you also have the brake fluid where you can fill up in here and the windshield wiper fluid and if you can see this I like how they did this front and with this hood looks like a cracked eggshell and it's very light you know just like anything with this vehicle close it up we'll check it out from the side I love the look of the new generation Corvette and even better with this performance version of the Z06 so what's different the body in the back is a little bit wider you also have this uh, trim piece and this air inlet that's a little bit bigger too to allow more air to help with the cooling of the engine there's uh, like four radiators two in the front two on the sides in here to help with cooling of this beast now I like this trim piece over here this is this uh, it, it's not really a piano black it's got a lot of sparkle inside of it you also have the z06 badge on the side more aggressive side skirt uh, right at the bottom of it and then you know with this vehicle you can standard with the magna right suspension come standard with the z06 performance brakes now the wheels on this particular one have been updated with the black rims now the standard comes with the silver ones or the polished aluminum if, if you will now also has the black lug nuts and uh, these are the 275 
30 tires in the front. They're 345 on 21 inch rims in the back. So much wider stagger wheels and tires. Looks absolutely stunning. Love the color. They, that's an extra option as well. They call it the red mist tint coat. And you know, as far as the mirrors, performance mirrors sticking out from the vehicle. And then you have the uh, piano black at the bottom with the turn signal. And over here, you have everything wrapped with black all around the windows. This is a convertible, of course, so you can open this top with the touch of the button. Now, if you were opting in for a coupe, you still can remove this panel right here. And basically have a similar setup, except it would be a little bit cheaper. And then you'd have the glass that you can see the engine through. So since the whole thing doesn't open up uh, my personal uh, you know choice would be the uh, the coup super aggressive design right here in the back it comes standard with this lower spoiler now you can opt in for this higher spoiler if you'd like to it does have the corvette logo again this is open to allow that hot air get out from the engine all led lights i love the way it looks and then again this is open this is open and you have the quad exhaust right in the middle there now with the regular c8 you have the double exhaust on each side this is definitely more aggressive now i can't really rev it up for you because this vehicle well parked it's only limited to about 3000 rpms or so however what i can do for you is start it and let you hear it how about that that sounds amazing now, let's check out some details inside well before we jump inside let's take a peek and see if we have in the room right here and this back trunk over here again this is pretty narrow but deep so there is some room over here smells like uh, fiberglass so a lot of this is done with the lightweight materials definitely and then if you look right here you have the of course the corvette badge and right here you have this open uh, air exhaust basically and if you look at this rear glass you can see that the, it says corvette 70th uh, anniversary basically from 1953 to 2023 and right here you also have that rear view camera that projects the image into the rear view mirror well before we jump inside let's take a look at what's going on right here on the door panel so it's nicely wrapped with leather with some contrast stitching over here you have the bose stereo and then you have the window mirror controls and this is your new door opener because it's not really a door handle you push this button and you pull the door or you push this door open you have the lock and unlock over here and this is where you can lock or unlock the front trunk and the rear trunk now we also have the Z06 badging right here on the door sill and the seats. These are the standard seats. You can upgrade them to the race seats basically, but these are the standard ones that come with the Z06. And it looks very similar to the regular C8. Let me jump inside and show you the rest of it. Whew. I'm so glad to be on the inside of this vehicle for two reasons. First, it looks absolutely cool. Second, if you look at the instrument cluster and it says time and temperature, we're at 4 p.m. almost. It's a 100 degrees outside and humid, very much so in Florida here. But since we're in the instrument cluster, let's take a look. Right here, the prominent uh, portion of this instrument cluster, of course, is your tachometer. And it is a high revving engine. Of course, it's limited to about 3,000 RPM. So even if I want Wanted to rev it up more I can't and you know right here it says that the fuel level is low all right I'm gonna kind of turn that off right here and see what else we have so we have a performance timer on here um, fortunately you know the vehicle's only got 325 miles so it's still within the braking period so I can drive it but I can't really beat on it which I'm not going to but I'm gonna give you my impression of how it feels in general so it says accelerate to start of course we're not going to do that see what else is here audio maintenance options display design okay you can link it to the driver mode which, let's do that let's talk about the drive modes right here because now you have your g-force oil temperature and then let's switch it back this is your track mode right here this is what opens up and definitely a different display but, but this is very similar this is basically the same as on the regular c8 so no difference here and then what else we have so this is your track sport mode that was we had before and this is your tour mode this is the most civilized mode for this vehicle and my mode so you can customize it and make it your own you also have the weather mode and that's it and you have a big button right here for the z mode right 
over here. So if you press that Z mode, that lights up and you know it shows up that you're in the Z mode over here. So definitely a little bit different looking display. And on the right hand side, of course, you have, will still have the display design info tile selection. So you can deselect all info tiles, battery voltage, you know, turn them on, off. However you want to do that, speed warning units, tire pressure, head up rotation, software licenses reset to default. We have very little gas, so we're going to take it for a spin before we run out. And uh, let's see what else we have. Steering wheel looks like on the regular CEA. This is a very controversial one. Some people like it, some people hate it. I kind of know why they did it in the flat down here because you have this nice head up display. And if this was rounded, this would be in your way. Plus, you know, if the vehicle sits low to the ground, and of course, you have the flat bottom at the Z06 right here, Corvette logo. And then we're in the Z mode that nicely illuminates. You have the pedal shifters. Now, by the way, this is the eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission. That's the only transmission that's available. And from what I hear and from what I've seen in other videos, and if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you watch other ones. This is one of the most accurate transmissions that there is. Now, as far as the dashboard design, this is the multi tier design. It looks super cool. It's uh, very futuristic. It's very sporty and aggressive. And we have this uh, little screen, not a huge deal because there's not much room in this vehicle. And you have so typical to pretty much all of the GMs, the new infotainment system, audio phone, navigation. This vehicle it has a navigation option that's been added to it. It's a thousand bucks, by the way, in case you want a navigation on hundred and you know, $12,000 car, which I think it should be standard, but that's just my opinion. And I go back to the home screen, take a look at the rear view camera. So we're gonna put it in reverse. You go, very nice quality camera, I'm gonna tell you. It's, you know, not big, but it, it, it is very big. It's very nice camera. You also have another camera that's right here up on top. You can flip it on and see, this is your rear view camera that's on top of the vehicle. And scrolling down here, this is basically, well, first of all, put it in park, you press it, and this is your shifter, you know, so in order to engage reverse, you have to pull on this little lever right here, or button, if you will. In order to put it in drive, you pull on this one, and then your neutral, you press it, your park, you press it too, and this is it. Not too much more to go on. I've done a little bit more of an in-depth review as far as the regular uh, C8 Corvette. You know, this is the PDR, which is the performance data recorder. This is very nice. So you can have recordings. Now, of course, nothing is here. No SD card is available, but this is good. You can uh, do a video overlap, lap timing, select track. So um, right now we don't have anything or save tracks, but you can actually upload it. And if you're doing some racing or track time, that's definitely come in handy. And uh, this is pretty much it as far as your infotainment system now the one thing that i really don't like about this new generation corvette is this strip right here first of all i mean this is your climate control so this is for your driver side this is for your passenger side right here and right in the middle is basically sharing between the two right so this is just the main settings and then specific to the sides are on top at the bottom but it also limits you know the passenger access to it. So if the passenger wanted to control the radio or wanted to control anything on their side, they're kind of limited because of this huge bulky strip right here. Not to mention if, you know, you're going on a date and well, you know, you leave it to your imagination. Anyways, well, let's go back here and you have your traction control mode. You can turn that off and you have your drive modes. This is how you switch it right underneath. You have this dial over here under the modes and you twist it to get it into the right mode. You also have this nice Corvette logo embossed in here. Cup holders, a bit more storage, and then this is it. Now, it's so hot outside. I've done the roof demonstration on the other Corvettes. We're not gonna do that, but how about taking it for a quick ride?
We got to tell you guys, uh, I'm not going to go over some of the features that are available on the Z06 Corvette for two reasons. First, there's so many of them, and this one doesn't have most of them. So you can go on the Chevrolet's website and actually customize it to the way you like it. Now, I'm going to post everything that's on this vehicle in the description of this video so you can check it out. Now, this is the 1LZ model convertible, a Z06, so it's got the power, it's got the convertible, uh, but, you know, it doesn't have some of the other performance enhancement that you would probably or may or may not want for your own vehicle. Now, it also makes it a little bit more affordable that, quite frankly, I didn't ask and I'm not going to ask of how much they're asking for it, but I will post the link to their website in the description of this video so you can take a look yourself and, you know, see if that's something that might interest you, if they still have it. Now, I know these have been going for, you know, I've heard some people pay $250,000, $300,000 for the Corvettes, which, that's why I said there's really nothing that's budget as far as this vehicle now if you can get it you know somewhere at the sticker price that's definitely worth it right i think you know for about 150 tops maybe 170 if you really dressed it up with everything that's available to it definitely you know comparable to the italian sports cars now some of the ferraris are going for you know four five six hundred a million dollars you know obviously we might we have slightly different performance and exclusivity of the brand but this where chevy takes this to the masses right now i'm not going to say the masses because i don't think that you know for example i would be able to afford a car like this or maybe want a car like this at this moment but if somebody looking for performance like i mentioned before this is probably the best bang dollar per horsepower that you can get it sounds amazing it looks amazing I'm gonna do a little bit of a half throttle here of course you know Inside, but that's what you want. You want that noise to come in the engine. The engine, by the way, is right behind me. It's this mid-mounted engine. And, you know, it sounds amazing. We're not going to do like a 0 to 60 very aggressively. However, I'm at 45. Let's see if I can lay down on that a little bit. See all those pops and crackles that are coming from the exhaust. That's what you want. That's what a lot of people are looking for in that vet. Overall, it is an easy to drive vehicle. I think I mentioned that uh, while I was reviewing the regular uh, Corvette, the C8, the new C8, that uh, this is not uh, a vehicle that you would be like overwhelmed getting into it and trying to figure out of how to drive it. Now we're in the fully automatic mode right now. Uh, I am in the sports mode and you know, it feels good. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. As a matter of fact, these seats sometimes you know you might want to think like okay they might be a little bit too comfortable for a performance vehicle but they're not they're nice yeah it really <laughs> it's really easy to drive the visibility you know the mirrors are situated in such a way that it's easy for you to see what's going on on both sides you know the rear view mirror now you can't see much you know because you, you, there's a little blockage in here but if you turn on that rear view camera perfect i can see everything that's going on behind me the sound of it is absolutely amazing i love it you know it's no wonder why people think that this is a supercar. It is. It might not be as expensive as some of the other ones, but it definitely would fit in the category. And this is not even the loaded one. Now you have the Magna Ride suspension, you know, that monitors the roads, kind of like we've seen in some of the Cadillac models. It makes this ride bearable. It's actually comfortable. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect getting into reviewing this vehicle. I knew that I was going to get in here and I 
wouldn't be able to really push it hard uh, out of respect for the vehicle, out of the respect for the future owner of it. But, you know, just driving it like the regular drive, it feels, it's a pleasure to drive. You hear that rev matching the exhaust note. Sits really tight on the corners here. And you can hear that transmission downshift as you slow it down. So when you restart it at a certain speed, you're going to be in the right gear, right where you need to be. This doesn't get old. I like this little windy road. Of course, we're not pushing it too hard, but I like the way it takes the corners. The seats hug you, but they don't restrict you. Like, they, they're not super uncomfortable. Wow. Take a couple of those corners here. I don't need to check it out. I don't need to prove to myself that this is, you know, 2.7 or 2.8 seconds. I believe it. I trust it. I can feel the power of this vehicle while driving it in the regular, normal mode. Well, it's a sport mode, but I, I you know what I'm saying. I'm not pushing it, but you can definitely feel that. You don't have to prove anything. You know what you have. This is tempting, you know, of course to floor it. We're not going to do that. I just want to hear that engine. We're still at 50 miles an hour. It's not... It's very effortless. We have brake. Cornering. Perfect. I didn't think I was gonna like this car. I thought it was just another Corvette. You know, I've read about the engine. It was really, you know, impressive to hear of how the engineers created this brand new engine, both for the regular C8 and now for this Z06. How can they get squeeze 670 horsepower out of a 5.5 liter V8? This is naturally aspirated. It's a different power delivery. It's a lot smoother than some of the supercharged or turbocharged engine where, where you have that spooling period, that little bit of a lag. And even if it's electronically enhanced, you can still feel that. This is the raw power. And you know, some people say that this may be the last naturally aspirated, non-electrified Corvette to get, so it might be a collector's item. Whether it's gonna come true or not, I don't know. It seems like some of the icons are coming back with the big gasoline V8 engines. You have the Corvette, of course, with the V8. You have the new Mustang with the V8 that's coming out. That's just to name it. You still have the Hellcats, although I think those might be going away in favor of some of the electric vehicles. But this, the sound, the feel of it, it can't be beat in my opinion. Guys, I'll definitely give this vehicle two thumbs up, but you already knew that. I'm sure you read and saw reviews of this vehicle. I'm just going to put my two cents into it. Definitely a great vehicle. But please do something about this strip. Maybe redesign the interior a little bit. Definitely orient it around the driver, not as much as the passenger. Maybe that's what it's all about. Focus on the driver, focus on the road, and have fun. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you like content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.